I've just got a brand new account from chess.com, meaning that my rating is zero and I have 30 days to raise it back to 2000. I have a few rules, only rapid games. I will have to explain every single move. Every day I have to give you a checklist of things that you have to do to always improve your rating. Last but not least, if I lose a game, I have to play the grub in the next one. This is day one hilarious game against the lowest chess player of the platform. Enjoy. Okay, let's go. We have the first game. I think I have no rating whatsoever. I think my rating should be 100, but I don't have a rating. Okay, let's go with the uh, night out. Okay, my opponent wants to try to give scholars mate. Okay, uh, let's go with the bishop out. Let's just develop pieces. I think... What? I mean, there is just too smart for me. I mean, there is one rule. Rule number one is, uh, you might know, control the center, develop pieces, castle. But a very important rule is don't go out with the queen too early. Because now, first of all, I will protect this pawn. I could already pull the move d3, but I will make, I will protect it with the knight. Is the queen taking there? <laughs> I knew that. I knew that. I knew that. Okay, so we have an extra queen after five moves. We take also a bishop. Wait, let's actually give mate. Let's go here. Let's take this pawn. I want to give a quick checkmate. Okay, my opponent is trying to take all the pieces they can take. Uh, they don't know the... Oh, also going giga chat with the king. That's very unexpected, honestly. That's very new. Very new to me. Okay, let's go with the queen out. Now it's good to go with the queen out because I have to give checkmate. I have a sack. A, a big plus 11 let's take with the queen so the king cannot go in front you can just go backward and we're about to see it take here attack the rook Ooh, check here i want to give mate with the knight i mean if rook here i have checkmate like this uh, well i think <gasps> i see i see i see it i see it i see it so rook here is the only move. No, please don't play f6. No, if they play f6, it's a problem. I can just give mate with a bishop if they play f6. Okay, now we have check here and and then knight here. Oh, I can't even remove. Um. <laughs> nice. So I have to play four more games to see my rating. I thought I had the rating of 100, but okay, fine. Anyway, we are playing against player without rating as well. Okay. Okay, those players don't have rating. Okay, this guy didn't want to play me. All right, we are playing another player that joined six days ago. Actually, they have a rating of 371. I don't know why it was not showing. Okay, let's go. I want now to see um, if they play tricky. Will they go out with the queen? This is something that I don't know why, but I do so early. Okay, my opponent is instead playing the Vienna game. So go out with the knight. Let's see. What they do okay they are professional basically this is the four knights game you want to first put the knight out and then maybe going for the center with d4 or develop this bishop here now going with the bishop on c4 would be a little bit not bad but there is a nice trick look at this you can take here and sacrifice the knight because after a knight takes there is the fork baby let's go oh you have a fork here Yes, I have a fork. Nice. <laughs> wow, this is a bad move because my opponent is sacrificing this knight, but I'm taking here and those two pieces are still both under attack. So it's not solving the problem at all. The fork is still there. And now my opponent lost two pieces instead of just one. So I think they got, uh, they just got very confused by my moves. Okay, now the queen is also attacking the knight. If the knight moves, this pawn is also hanging. Ah, this is painful. Okay, queen there is a smart move. Defending the knight with the queen. I will have to just develop. I bring out my bishop attacking the knight one more time and also the pawn behind. It's fun that the knight cannot basically be moved because the pawns behind are going to be really weak. And that's what my opponent is not doing. Now I go for the giga chad along castle. Uh, which is a fun move because it's also bringing the rook into the action at the same time. 
Okay, I'll give this check because it's a very fun check. If my opponent pushes here, this pawn will no longer be protecting the pawn on d3. So I can take here and that's a very nice fork. Now everything is falling. This is like pins. This bishop is falling, then the queen will be under attack. This knight is unprotected. Ah, this is very bad for my opponent. Ooh, and this now allows the discovery check. The queen is giving check, the knight is attacking the queen. And if the queen covers the check, I'm taking with the knight or with the queen, whatever. I'm just taking and winning everything. Okay, you're getting close. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. this is tempting now. This is very tempting now. Wait, it's just made in one. Bam. Yes. And there we go. We have Alex Neck, 422 rating. Okay, d4. We'll play. Let's play d5, okay? This is how I would play if I would have this rating. So let's copy. Beginners love to copy, so we copy. We copy. I mean, copying is very bad, but we have to pretend to be of this rating. If not, they will report me, you know? Okay, they took that. I mean, let's copy. Let's copy. Let's see how much we can copy. Oh no, they took! I'm a piece down now. <laughs> Okay, coping is bad. You see why? Because now if I take here, I lose a queen. So, okay, fine. We understood something. I'm attacking this knight. If this knight moves away, they lose the queen. Don't move that knight away. Alex, all the way from China. Hong Kong, South China. Don't move the knight. I didn't move the knight. That's a good move. But now I'm attacking the queen with my bishop and this knight is also under attack, so I should be able to take back the piece. Um, maybe lose a pawn, because for example, queen b3, pawn takes, and my opponent can take here or there. So, coping is bad. We understood that. I also, I want to try to test this thing. I believe that um, when you start playing chess, you are a myopist chess player like that you don't see far away and uh, meaning that this bishop sees until maybe that can go in these squares but it will never see that can go so far away same for this queen the queen will never see that can go so far away okay we take we'll test it at some point okay we'll test it um not now uh usually you can sacrifice those pawns even if this pawn is under attack because it helps you to develop the rook immediately into the game and to counterattack the other pawn on the B file. So I will just develop the knight. It's okay. Uh, also, my opponent has no pieces out. The only piece that is out is the queen. So as you can see, everything according to the plan. Now I will play a rook here. They can also take this pawn. Fine. But I have all my pieces developed. So I'm okay. I'm fine with it. Okay, we'll go with the bishop out. Then we will castle. And how many points <laughs> do we have left? three pawns that's kind of a lot all right now we have just two pawns less because we can take this and now it's very nice oh <gasps> guys i see something so beautiful if they develop this knight oh my goodness this is really okay now i play this i'm attacking the queen but i'm also attacking the most vulnerable point in white's position it's the pawn on f2 because this pawn is just protected by the king. So if I can attack that pawn, I... Ooh! <laughs> okay, so now I have many choices. I could take here, giving a check. Sorry, I could take on f2, giving a check. But I could also win a queen by playing bishop b4. So now I want to see, do I have, actually have checkmate if I play this move? King. King here. Bang. is a check with the queen. But then bishop there. Okay, we'll just play this way. I think it's it's safer to take the queen. Queen takes. I take with my rook. Okay, we'll just take here. And now, guys, the test. I have to blunder my queen. Okay, let's take here first. I have to show you that if... Okay, the bishop... I feel like here the bishop is too close to miss the queen. Let's see if I have some ways to do it. Okay, uh, the rook is under attack, so we'll move it here. Now, the bishop has to move. I have the feeling that three squares away is just too close. Okay, let's try to play bishop here. I mean, I know that makes no sense. <laughs> but I want to prove the fact that this rook will not take the queen. I told you! Two rook is not taking the queen. It's just too far away. 
Okay, I'll give a second chance and the last chance. Will this bishop take the queen? Is this close enough for you? Ooh! <laughs> okay, they did. Okay, so apparently two steps is enough, but three steps is too far away. So we have got a basically mathematic rule. Three steps is too far away, two steps is good enough. So that you know, you know. Okay, now we have to win this game. Ah, I'm a piece down. I guess what? I blundered the queen. <laughs> that is okay. If my opponent moves this bishop out, they lose a rook. Okay, I told you. I told you this is a check. And there is a rook behind that is hanging. So now we are plus two material. You can see here under my name, Alessia the Grob. I'm scared of playing the Grob. By the way, if you're liking this video so far, make sure to like. And I will start, I will try to jump with my rating as fast as possible towards higher rating. Okay, now let's try to give checkmate with two rooks. We give a check. Let's see where the king goes. The king should go. Yeah, good move. Now I take a pawn. This rook is so powerful on the second rank because you can just farm all these pawns like they would be pins. You know, I went a few days ago to play bullying. I'm very bad, but I'm good at doing bullying on the chessboard. So to go with my rook on the second rank and to farm all those pawns. I will take them one after the other. Okay, let's go with the king here just because there is no check anymore. And we'll take this pawn and this one. All right. I mean, this is the pawn. We're attacking the bishop. I mean, my opponent will never see that the bishop is under attack. Maybe they, I mean, they move it, but it's hanging by the pawn, which is kind of surprising. I'm taking there. Now, will they take with the rook? I guess it's just two steps away. You can see that. Oh, <gasps> I didn't. Okay, I'll take here. And now I have to just give mate with two rooks. It's kind of easy. It's simple. You know, this rook is blocking the king from going up, right? And so I will, as, I will have to use this rook to block all these squares. And what I do, I remove the king. Now this rook is blocking those squares. This rook is blocking those squares. And the king has to go back somewhere. The only square that avoids the checkmate is to go here. Because I don't have rook there if not i will go with the rook and give checkmate i hope you like those colors <laughs> oh and they just resigned okay ggs all right last game we play e4 and now i want to try to play something very sharp if my opponent plays e5 i will play queen h5 let's see the rating of my opponent is 471 so they are experienced and they are responding with queen f6, which is actually smart because I'm attacking this pawn and the queen is protecting it. So that's a good move. But now I will attack this pawn again with the knight and they will go immediately with the bishop here, which is a mistake. I'll develop my other knight and I'm ready to jump here. There was a pawn hanging already, but I don't want to trade the queens because if I take with the knight, I get mated. If I take with the queen, I trade the queens. I don't want to trade the queens. Let's go with the knight here. Now we are attacking the queen and threatening the giga fork. Royal fork. What? Oh my god, that's a free queen. The problem is my opponent was saying, oh, I'm attacking your queen. But I take here and that's a check, baby. Uh, this could be a very quick checkmate. Okay, guys, I take here. Yes. Let's see where the king goes. Oh, no, they resigned. Okay, fine. But if they would go here, I have d4, they move this bishop away, and I have checkmate with the bishop. That's so beautiful. Okay, I know that I said that was the last game, but this was so fast that we'll play another game. I finally got my rating, 581. From there, from here, we have to go to 2000. Okay, we are playing a 500, a 500 player from Lebanon, and they are playing with the knight on f3. Okay, I will play knight f6. Uh, my opponent is attacking this pawn. I'm counter-attacking this pawn. And I want to try to test. Oh, okay. They are not taking here. I wanted to test the stuff for Gambit, but it doesn't really work. Okay, I think we will just develop the knight here in this case. Now, it's like a 2-knight defense. My opponent could have gone uh, for the fried lever. I'm now taking the pawn, repeating the same idea as before. I'm saying, oh no, my knight. And the, the fun part is that after knight takes, I have a fork. There we go. I think like this could confuse many players. Before my opponent took there, now they took there. 
the queen is attacking the knight, the knight has to move again. And basically, what did I achieve? I achieved that I have the bishop here. Look at those. Two amazing bishops, and my opponent gave away the bishop for an exchange of a knight. Now, I go with the bishop here. This is a very powerful pin. This knight cannot be moved, you know, because the queen behind is hanging. And I'm going, if my opponent castles, I will show you how I won so many games when I was a kid. So I went with the knight here. Now this knight cannot take. Beginners love to take. Don't take. Just don't take. Don't take. Do not take. Okay, that's a good move, actually. That's really a good move. Because they are protecting the knight with the knight. That's a great move. Okay, I will go long castle, uh, bringing the rook to the action. I have to develop this bishop, and then I'm done with it. Just don't take this knight. Don't take. For no reason. Don't take the knight. Yes, this h3 was a good move. Now, usually you shouldn't push the pawns in front of the king. Um, I mean, h3 is fine, because you create some space for your king not to get back rank. Okay, okay, okay. I'm taking here. So now the knight has to take. Now I take. The pawns will be doubled. And I will I will just take here. Come on. That's a juicy pawn to take. I know that I don't have other pieces. You know, those guys are not really helping that much. But they are soon going to help. For example, if the queen is taking here, I'm bringing the bishop there. And if I bring the queen here, it's checkmate. Now, the queen doesn't move like a knight, so I can't go here next. But I'm confident that I will be able to reach that square sooner or later. <laughs> and we take. <laughs> the only move that is, well, there are many moves actually that are covering the checkmate. The move that I expect is queen g2, trying also to trade the queens. Uh, also, f4 could be a move that is blocking this bishop. But no matter what my opponent plays, I will play rook g8 next. So the queen and the King are in the same file, I'm winning the queen, and and that's the end. That's why you shouldn't, I mean, the pawn on g7 and the pawn on b7 are very tricky pawns. They are called poison pawns, meaning that you have to be absolutely sure before taking them. Because usually, for black, for whoever, the side that is losing the pawn, can usually put a rook and at least take the other pawn there. Now, I didn't just take back the pawn, but I took a queen with check. And we'll give the classic ladder mate. Check here. The king moves. The rook is controlling those squares. Okay, my opponent is instead going for, for lots of action. Okay. Okay, I'll give a check. Is the king moving forward? Okay, I'll give a check. Is the king moving forward? <gasps> this could be mate with a pawn. Mm, oh, it's tough. Yeah. Check here. And now this is the only square. They might just resign here. Okay, no, they are fighters. They are fighters. I take here, the king has to go there. Then I take here. There we go. Yeah, the king goes there. I'll give a check. Okay, okay, check here. Is it happening? Okay, I have checkmate in one. Do I have it with a pawn? No, because this is not checkmate. Okay, fine. We'll give just mate. Just. Hope you enjoyed this games. If yes, remember to like and subscribe for 69 ELO. And guys, I'll see you tomorrow for day two of this challenge. And now check out this one.